All right, so we got the tool we needed now to get this plug out. Uh, it turned out what I needed was a 14 millimeter Allen socket. Uh, so I just went to Harbor Freight, got me this set of metric sockets, it's like 13 bucks. Not bad for tools that I'm not going to use very often. I would have bought one of these from some other tool manufacturers and probably spent a lot more for just one socket. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the Allen bolt out. We're going to move it over to the other side and then we're going to install this on the side that this Allen bolt's currently in. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll mount this water pump. All right, so we got the uh, plug put in on the other side. We got our connector here. We got our four bolts ready to go. So what we're going to do now, you see the gaskets are already in place. So we're going to go ahead and mount this. I'm going to leave the two bolts on this side uh, loose for the moment because I have a feeling that they're going to be involved with the setup for the alternator bracket kit that I bought. Um, so we'll do that in another video after I install this. So I discovered a design flaw here. If you look, the lower bolt that goes through the water pump right here into this hole is blocked by this guy right here. So in order to get this long bolt to go through that hole, you have to pull, temporarily remove this one. So that's what I'm working on now. And as soon as I get the lower ones installed and then these put back in, then I'll be able to mount the water pump. Water pump is installed. Uh, I had to take those two bolts back out again to be able to get the socket on the bottom bolts, but then the bottom bolts are still blocked by these side pieces right here. And it was a real pain in the butt. So if anybody out there knows who designed this thing, please slap them for me. Uh, so what I ended up having to do was take a regular Allen wrench and I had to shave off about probably about a half of an inch off the end of it just so it would fit on the bolt between that and that part of that's blocking it. Uh, so once I got this cut off, it went pretty smooth after that. It just shouldn't have to go that far to get something bolted on. Uh, that's what I would consider to be a design flaw. But we're all bolted on now, so now what I'm going to do is take a look at my alternator bracket. And our next video will be uh, how to install alternator bracket that's an aftermarket designed for use with electric water pumps.